Hello there and welcome to the start of another week on Who Has Sports today as this will be the run up to this weekend's opening fixtures in the Premier League. As the week goes along we will look at the fixtures, keep a pulse on the fans anticipation via what's been said on the social media sphere and we will also look at the championship as familiar names such as Birmingham, Blackpool and West Ham from last season will be trying to bounce back to the Premier League. While there's a few who have been dearly missed from the top flight such as Leeds, Southampton, Ipswich and Nottingham Forest who will also be gunning for promotion. But back in the Premier League, the reigning champions sent out, a, uh, sent out a warning to the chasing pack that they are still the ones to beat for the title as Manchester United fought from two goals down in the first half to beat Manchester City in last night's Community Shield. This is the fifth time United have won the Shield in the past 11 years in what's been labelled as a classic. We were at the Mokwin restaurant where the usual group of United fans gathered and this is how they erupted when Nani capitalised on Vincent Company's mistake to claim the winning goal in the dying minutes of the game. You can watch the entire fans' reaction and their comments in our first webisode of Fans Life for the 2011-2012 season, now available on hooha.my. But it was the resulting outcome that has grabbed headlines. The Mail deemed City as second-class citizens and they also dropped a hint of Wesley Schneider's imminent arrival. While in the Guardian it reads, we've shown City who's boss, quoting Wayne Rooney. And this is what he tweeted after the game. And looks like the boys will have a day off on Thursday before it's back to preparations with United playing away at West Brom this weekend. But looking at the other end of the joy and happiness is the pain and sorrow of the City fans and most of them are just gutted by the loss. I like Kate Walker's comments on how her team ignored United's ability to come back from losing situations. While Rich Garrick, along with many others, was wondering why Mancini didn't play new £35 million signing Sergio Aguero. But what about the man that gave away the ball to Nani which led to the winning goal? Vincent Company admits that they didn't play well but they were in it. True, I'll give them that. But hang on, he goes on to say that it wasn't their best performance but they are ready for the big one next Monday. The opening match in the Premier League, the big one as he says it, is against Swansea. Swansea, the big one. Really Vincent? No disrespect to Swansea or their fans but let's take a look at these stats. In 15 matches that their opponents took the lead last season, they lost 11 of them. And for this season, the odds is against them to survive the Premier League. Well, if you do believe in miracles, then you may want to put them down for a top 4 finish. And remember Scott Sinclair, one time at Chelsea, he may have something to prove as he's only 22. But here's the real point I want to make to Monsieur Company. According to transfermarket.co.uk, the total value of players at Swansea is... £21 million. Pounds. Heck, that was what one player by the name of Jordan Henderson was worth to Liverpool. While City, your team, Mr. Company, is worth, wait for it, £385 million. Pounds. And your opening match against Swansea is the big one? Something's seriously wrong at City. But hey, anything can happen, right? It's a long season where, you know, we would be, where would we be if it weren't for the players and managers saying the darnest things? Well, that will be it for today. Uh, be sure not to miss our Fans Live episode with the Manchester United fans enduring it first, then erupting in celebration at last night's Community Shield viewing party. Till tomorrow, I'm Patrick for the team wishing you a great start to your work week. But for the time being, it's bye for now. Yeah,